Have you had this happen to you before? You film something cool and then you come back, you throw it into DaVinci Resolve and it sounds like this. Another type of microphone that's pretty popular right now is these little guys. It looks goofy and it's tickling my neck, so I wouldn't wear a microphone like this, but... And you're like, what is going on? I only hear it out of one side. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix that. It's quick, it's easy, nothing to worry about. I got you covered. Let's jump in Resolve and check this out. So in DaVinci Resolve here, here is the clip that you just saw a little piece of. Now when I play it through, it's only coming through the right channel for me. Now uh, hopefully you guys were able to hear that too. You got some headphones or even on your phone, you should hear it coming from just one side. So how do we fix that? You've got a few different ways that we can do it. One way is right here in the media pool. So you can find your clip, right click on it and come down to clip attributes. Now in the clip attributes, you want to go to the audio section and you notice right here, we're in a stereo format and we're using the embedded channel one and channel two. Now with these kind of microphones that you could clip on your shirt, for example, in the kit that I have, there's two of them. So if you were to record two people at the same time, it'll record both tracks of audio, one to the right channel and one to the left channel. So you can work with it that way. In this case, it was only me. I didn't have a second person. So it only records audio to one channel. Now, it may be a little confusing to tell which one's which, right? For embedded channel one, channel two. But if you look over here, we've got left and right. So if we just play through my clip and listen in our headphones or your speakers to see which side is it coming from, the left side or the right side, let's double check that real quick. I'm going to cancel this, see what it here it sounds like. Do work well, in my opinion. So it sounds like it's coming from the right side. So if I right click on here, come back to clip attributes in clip attributes, this is the track that I'm actually hearing. So two ways you can adjust this right here. One is to leave it as a stereo track and just change the source channel right here on the left channel to embedded two. So you're essentially having the same thing in both the right and left channels. So if we hit okay, now when we play through it, it should sound okay. This looks doofy. Oh, I got some deer running back there. It looks doofy and it's tick. So that's one way that you can do it. Now, another way that you can do it right here in your clip attributes, again, coming back to audio, and let's just restore this how it was. It was channel one and channel two, is we can change the format of the audio for this clip to a mono setting, a mono format. And now we know that it was channel two, in the embedded channel two that was giving us our right audio, right channel audio. So we can just change our embedded one to channel two, hit okay. And now because our clip is set up as a mono clip, you should be good to go. Let's hear what that sounds like. One like this, but this is a sample that you can use. It's essentially the same thing. It's gonna sound the same way. Now, if I drop it down in my timeline with it set up as a mono track, you can notice we're still set up as a stereo track by default here, right? That's the settings that I have for my timeline when I create one. So let's just hear what that sounds like. Another type of microphone that's pretty popular right now is these little guys. Now, now you notice, hey, wait a second. It's only in my left channel. I thought we fixed that. We did, but you need to have a mono track if your clip is changed to mono. So really easy. Just right click on your track, come down to change track type to mono. Now you're good to go. You should hear everything just as it is supposed to be heard. Another type of microphone that's pretty popular right now is these little guys. Now, and that's good. You're good to go there. Now, let's say if I deleted this clip and uh, maybe I had it the other way around there, right? Go back to clip attributes. We're going to put it back to the default settings here for stereo. Embedded channel one and channel two. I'm going to click OK. So let's say I just dropped it in my timeline like this. And now it's going on to a stereo track. Here's what it sounds like when I just drop the original clip onto my timeline. Do work well, in my opinion only coming through my right channel. Now, instead of doing it in clip attributes, I could just change my audio track here to be a mono track like this. And now if we play through it, you'll notice, wait a second, we don't hear anything. What's going on with that? Because by default, Resolve is using the left channel, right? Which has no audio to it. So I can, in my timeline, right click on it, come to clip attributes, and just change both of these to be embedded channel two, because I know that's where the audio was recorded on this clip. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and we should hear everything good now. So I wouldn't wear a microphone like this, but this is a sample that you can use to try and edit. Now, if you wanted to be able to see both the right and left channels so you can see the waveforms and see what's happening with your clip. So I'm just going to come here and drop another set of the clip into my timeline here, pop it in a different layer. We can jump over into Fairlight and in Fairlight, if we have a stereo track, 
you can see right here, we now see our right and left channels. And that's what's happening with our clip, right? Our left channel has nothing in it and our right channel has our audio. And if I were to drag this clip up into my mono track, you'll notice it's pulling the audio from the left channel and you're like, wait, it's not there. And you would have to change it in your timeline by right clicking, clip attributes. And then we can either change this to a mono or you could just change your embedded channel too for the left channel, boom. And now there's our waveforms and you're good to go. So if you run into issues with your clips and you only hear either a right or a left channel, you've got a few different ways that you can fix it depending on what you're doing and how you want to take care of it. So quick, easy fix here in DaVinci Resolve, like a lot of other things, not only with audio, but with everything in general in Resolve. A lot of times, once you know how to fix them, it's pretty quick and easy to take care of problems. If you want to learn more about audio, how to work with the ins and outs of all kinds of different issues that might come up during your editing, check out my audio essentials for video editors in DaVinci Resolve class. I'll link it down below if you're interested, check it out. With that said, it was nice hanging out with you and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.